This is Energy World, the geographic center of a new life, energy work. An estate in France, 170 hectares, a castle. People live here for days, weeks, years. What kind of people are they? What are they looking for? What do they want? This film offers an insight into Michael Barnett's energy work. Don't believe blindly in what you see. Don't try to understand it. Adopt an open viewpoint. Accept that you will see pictures of things you never heard about in school. Proceed as an explorer. Maybe we are liars. Maybe these people are all crazy. But maybe it's true. Michael Barnett, founder and teacher of Energy Work. Unlike many teachers who see themselves as missionaries of a certain tradition, Michael Barnett follows and teaches the path of finding one's own authenticity. Not a childish, I can do it myself, but the step-by-step -step experience and training of human talents which we have forgotten. We say that you, I mean you, are capable of experiencing energy as reality. Many of the people you see in this film came into contact with this work for the first time. The scenes you see were filmed in five-day groups which are open to beginners. We don't want to sell you a new god or a new religion, so use your intelligence. The presence of a sick man is different from that of someone in love. If you have observed yourself in life, then you know that something in you feels the presence of whoever you are dealing with. If you were to train this talent, then you would become able to feel more and more subtle energies like presence. You would become more and more aware of the finest energy, the spirit, the divine, the cosmic energy. The more you dare to open to the source, the nearer you dare to come to it, the more you grow into someone that we call enlightened or holy. Again, don't try to understand this film. Something in you can feel that in these scenes, in these pictures, is a hidden power. Open to this hidden power. Even then, maybe you will not understand it, but you will have experienced it. She looking at me for? It is here. Look here. Here. It is also in here, but you'll never find it in there. You'll never find it in there. There's too much going on in there for you to find it. The secret of the universe is here.
You are together with people. You know their life stories. You know who's married. You know where they come from, what job they do. You know who you are attracted to. Now forget all this usual stuff. There is something in you, deep in you, something which is capable of recognizing these people on another, more substantial level. To avoid philosophical debate, let's call this level the energy level. Now imagine that this energy level is affecting you through its mere presence, supported by your openness, leaving behind your normal words, your normal way of relating. Imagine a man, a holy man, somewhere in Asia, sitting in meditation. A visitor sits in front of him. No hello, no words, no gestures. After ten minutes, the visitor leaves, fully charged, ready to go on. Energy work is not intended to get you high, to give you beautiful experiences, to make you see the light, although it might do all those things, but it's not the main intention. The main intention is simply to open up that which has to be authentic more and more. So that the authenticity that each one of us is bound to practice, if we are true, is going to be firstly a more complete authenticity of yourself and secondly based on a recognition and a relationship with the environment and world you live in which is part of what you would do if you were authentic. What you do if you don't know what's going on in the other person, authentically, is going to be quite different to what you would do if you understand or are in close touch with the other person before you make the statement or the movement or the action. The authenticity is going to change because the authenticity is going to be based on much, much more information. So I'm only interested in bringing more information about the universe, about your fellow beings, about oneself into the equation of living your life authentically. And that work of living your life authentically or seeing what is authentic at the moment is absolutely the work of each and every one person for themselves and nobody can do it for you. As one becomes more and more in touch with the energies that are all around, the authenticity is bound to become, not because you have the idea in your mind, but because it is a natural effect, it's bound to become more and more harmonious. With the world around you. It's bound to become, because if you are more sensitive to actually what is there, then your response, which is your authenticity, your true response, is obviously going to be taking all this into consideration to feel what is the true movement. So all work is in a way, whatever it is, is a kind of opening up to a fuller and fuller appreciation of where we are, what we are, what's going on all around us. The whole 
purpose of the body flow is to help towards mending the division between you and the cosmos. What is around the individual energy field is one. So in this, you as the one who is centered still in the separation of the individuality, that one doesn't do anything except allow movement to happen. You just get out of the way. And as far as you can cooperate with what the energy of the cosmos is trying to do, which is to bring you into a reunion with itself. So Dharma and Yoga happens spontaneously out of the butterfly. All that becomes from a state of incompletion and a search for completion. But when you reach completion, then that state itself is the ultimate therapy. If you can, in a way, share that, and if you can radiate that, and if you can resonate that, then this is the ultimate therapy because what it does is to awaken the wholeness of the other individuals without a specific method. Once you're using a method, in a way contained in that method is a certain approach which might be right for the person who is using the method, but may not be right for the people for whom they, with whom they are using it. I mean, it's not going to be worthless, but it may not be just right. So ultimately I see my work as being moving towards a state of holistic reality for myself which will bring about the effect of a similar resonance in everybody else so that each person gets the flavor of their own holism and then I'm not interfering anymore. That is, uh, that is the goal, that is the direction. Diamond Yoga is the Western answer to traditional yoga. Like body flow, Diamond Yoga is not a doing, it happens. Imagine you have been practicing body flow. The insecurities and the tensions you had in the beginning have disappeared. Your movements have become more and more flowing, guided by ever finer impulses. They feel more and more right. Michael Barnett has followed this path. Positions and movements developed, which we have brought together under the heading of Diamond Yoga. Exercises which quickly bring even beginners into deeper and deeper states of meditation. A method which, through its ongoing refinement, leads step by step towards the ideal.
The Diamond Yoga Handbook The Song of the Wild Goose The Arrow of Man Walking Through Ashes Books by Michael Barnett of which many have been translated into German, Danish, Italian, Dutch and Croatian. The attempts of a man who has found the way into the energy reality to share his knowledge. How does such a man think? What does his world look like? In school, you learnt that there is an electromagnetic force between all physical bodies. Let's say that between all bodies, all living things, there is a continuous exchange of energy, even if we are not consciously aware of it. Energy work is the vehicle through which this energetic communication can become stronger and more strongly felt. What happens when trained people, true masters, allow a resonance to happen with ordinary people? We have filmed such encounters. There came up scenes that can be frightening in their intimacy. When you now see the following pictures, try not to judge them. Observe yourself. Feel yourself. What is happening to you? in you.
in this moment I felt a kind of a strong energy, emotions, you know, like aggression or real instinct of killing, in a way, I mean, very strong emotions came up, but I had the feeling that uh, it's in a way it's blocked. And then Michael came and touched me, and then uh, I had the possibility because of his energy, it's like an explosion. The emotion and this, this energy uh, becomes more free and opened up, and so I could let it out. is possible with this kind of work that for everybody you can open up I mean it's a big wish from everybody that you can feel something with your heart I mean it's not such a strange thing Anything that helps anybody towards the transcendence of their ongoing reality is love. Was jemandem hilft weiterzugehen ist Liebe. And anything that helps anybody towards the completion beautifully of the level that they are on and have settled on is also love. Was auch immer den Menschen hilft auf ihrer Ebene vollkommener zu werden, ist auch Liebe. Love is two hands. Liebe hat zwei Hände. To help somebody complete their life in a beautiful way is to give love to that person. Jemanden dabei zu helfen, sein Leben in einer schönen Weise zu leben, ist Liebe. And to give somebody a lift up onto another level or onto the level that they have lost and forgotten is also absolutely a love offering. Und alles, was jemandem hilft, auf eine weitere Ebene aufzusteigen oder die Verlorene wiederzufinden, ist auch Liebe. So there is cosmic love and worldly love. So gibt es kosmische Liebe und weltliche Liebe. But they are not two, they are just one. Sie sind nicht zwei, sie sind eines. Just two hands. Nur zwei Hände. As far as God is concerned, it is just two hands. Was Gott betrifft, sind einfach zwei Hände. From one source. Aus einer Quelle. A caring, a intimacy, a recognition of the game that we are all playing. Eine Fürsorge, eine Unterstützung, eine liebevolle Haltung für das Spiel, das wir spielen. And there is nobody on this earth who is not involved in the game. Und es gibt niemanden auf der Erde, der in dieses Spiel nicht involviert ist. Not even the enlightened being is not beyond the game. Nicht einmal das erleuchtete Wesen ist jenseits des Spiels. He or she also has a part to play. Auch er oder sie spielt ihren Teil.
and he too, or she too, is absolutely at one with everybody that he or she is helping along the path. Und er oder sie ist eins mit jedem, dem er hilft auf diesem Weg. That is the point at the end of the journey when the master and the disciple, the teacher and the student meet beyond the teaching and hug each other and cry together and laugh together. Das ist der Punkt am Ende der Reise, wo der Schüler und der Lehrer sich umarmen und jenseits des Spieles sich befinden. It might be the first time that has ever happened. Es mag das erste Mal sein, dass dies geschieht. But that is a recognition of the humanness of both. Doch ist das eine Anerkennung des Menschseins von beiden. Now I had my difficulties and differences with my great teacher. Ich hatte meine Schwierigkeiten mit meinem großen Lehrer. But undoubtedly, Rajneesh was a man of level eight. Aber ohne Zweifel war Rajneesh ein Mann von Ebene 8. And if when I die and go to see God, then Rajneesh is there, I will first go and have a hug and a dance with him, I'm sure. Und wenn ich sterbe, werde auch ich zuerst zu Rajneesh gehen und einen Tanz und eine Umarmung mit ihm haben. Because he was such an extraordinary being. Einfach weil er so ein außerordentliches Wesen war. And he taught me through my love for him and he taught me through my conflict with him. Und er lehrte mich über seine Liebe zu ihm und über den Konflikt mit ihm. And I only really left him when I found my own gods and goddesses that were behind me all the time. Und ich verließ ihn erst, als ich meine eigenen Göttinnen und Götter fand, die immer hinter mir waren. But without him, I doubt if I would have been rejoined with them. Aber ich bezweifle, dass ich ohne ihn mit ihnen wirklich verbunden gewesen wäre. Maybe. Vielleicht. But it doesn't matter. Es macht nichts aus. He was just a joy. Es war einfach gut mit ihm zu sein. Don't deny what is happening. Verleugnet nicht, was geschieht. But recognize it is just a step on the way. Aber erkennt, es ist nur ein Schritt auf dem Weg. To levels beyond levels beyond levels. Auf Ebenen zu weiteren Ebenen zu weiteren Ebenen. Think big, not small. Think groß, nicht klein. Feel yourself big, not small. Fühlt euch selbst groß, nicht klein. Trust that you are the whole universe somehow. Vertrauen. And at the same time, focused here for the moment. Vertraut, dass ihr irgendwie das große Universum seid und im gleichen Moment. Focused here in this moment, in this body, in this event, in this situation. Zentriert hier in diesem Körper, in dieser Situation, in diesem Augenblick. Just a temporary focus. Aber nur ein vorübergehender Fokus. So defocus your focus. <laughs> Defokussiert euren Fokus. And refocus überall. Ich fokussiert euch überall hin.
Dugaan. Fühle dich. Fühle der Vergiss alles. Das ist da, das ist vorn, das ist hinten. Sei da, wo du bist. Was ist meine Realität? Was ist meine Wirklichkeit? Keine Zukunft. Alles ist gegangen. Was ist gegangen? Ist gegangen. Nur dieser Moment ist hier. Think big, not small. Think groß, nicht klein. Feel yourself big, not small. Fühlt euch selbst groß, nicht klein. Trust that you are the whole universe somehow. And at the same time, focused here for the moment. Vertraut, dass ihr irgendwie das große Universum seid. 